a piece of paper, a piece of wood, a scroll saw, a really neat project. Hi, I'm Paul. Welcome to my messy workshop. My friend Russ Clarity over at Simply Wooden Creations showed me a process where you take a piece of paper, a piece of wood, and you make a bowl. You go to a program called Inkscape. It's a free program you can download. And you make a pattern. This pattern is just a series of concentric circles. You glue the pattern to a piece of wood. You take it to the scroll saw, you cut this out, and you make a bowl. It's really neat. So stick around and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. I made my pattern using Inkscape. Uh, you could use any software you want. In fact, you could just take a piece of paper and a compass and draw your lines on a piece of paper and then affix it to your wood. And for wood, I'm just using a piece of three-quarter inch pine. My lines on this pattern are a half an inch apart. Now let me show you how we figure the angle to cut these. My lines are a half inch apart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a square and on the side of my wood, doesn't matter where, any place on any side, I'm going to place two lines that are a half inch apart. Now if, for instance, these lines were 3 eighths inch apart, then I'd make these lines 3 eighths apart. But since these are a half inch, these are a half inch. Then I'm going to draw a line from the top of this line to the bottom of this line. And that is the angle that I'm going to cut my rings out at. And it's also the angle that I'm going to drill my starter holes at. So I'm going to go over to the drill press, tilt the bed of my drill press till I have this angle. Then I'm going to drill some 1 16th holes through to be able to feed my blade through. After I get that done, I'll go over to the scroll saw and I'll meet you over there. So now what I do is I take my table and I tilt it till it matches the angle that I drew on the side of my board and I tighten it up. Now that's the angle that I'm going to cut these rings out at. I have my table tilted. I got my blade up through my first hole. I'm cutting from the inside out so that I have more wood to hold on to throughout the cut. I've cut just like a quarter inch just to make sure my blade was straight. So now I'm going to continue cutting around this first circle. And there's the first ring cut out. Now don't worry too much about how uneven it is or the, the, hole, the hole I drilled to get the blade in because as we uh, finish this bowl up, that'll all get taken care of. So now what I'm going to do is thread through my second hole and cut out the second ring. Got my blade threaded up through the next ring, so I'll just go ahead and cut it out. There's the second ring done. And as you can see, they stack on top of each other. And we'll just keep building rings until we get through this whole piece of wood. 
So now we're starting to cut the third ring out. And there's a third ring. Got the blade threaded through the hole for the fourth ring. So here goes the fourth ring. The last ring. Well, now that all the rings are cut, this is how it goes together. That's how it goes together. So now I'll glue it all together. And after I get glued, get it all glued together, I'll show you how we're going to smooth these sides and the inside out. There's the first two layers glued together. Level three in place. There it is, all glued up. After the glue dries, I'll show you the next step. What I've done is I've temporarily mounted my bowl and a set of coal jaws and I've glued a waste block to it and after the glue dries I'll let it dry overnight I can grab this in a set of jaws and turn this bowl on the outside and on the inside so after I get that all set up I'll show you how that's done so here I am at my lathe just going along proud of myself and then I catch the gouge on the piece and this is what happens when you catch a gouge and uh, I've never claimed to be a good worker on the lathe but uh, this is what happened so now since I can't find my piece of wood uh, this bowl is going to be a little bit shorter so I'll do a little more and uh, I'll be back like I said just a few seconds ago, turning wood on a lathe is not my expertise. I'm not very good at it. I don't claim to be good at it. I need a lot of practice. So I'm turning some more. I made my bowl shorter and I caught the gouge again. And I thought, well, no big deal. I'll just make the bowl a little shorter again. And eventually I'll end up with a nice bowl. So I'm turning some more and the sound of the gouge against the wood changes drastically. And I shut off the lathe and I thought, huh, something's wrong. And this is what happened. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me zoom in on that a little bit. That's what happened. So, in this instance, I think that uh, this is the end of this project. I may make another one. It was, the scroll saw work was fun. The lathe work, not so much. Uh, there's other ways to smooth this out. I could sand it. I could do a lot of different things. Uh, lathe work is not my expertise. So I'm going to end this video here and uh, maybe we'll try another project. Well, this project was a major fail. That happens. Uh, not every project turns out the way you planned. This project goes in the trash. But I'll try again. That's the important thing is don't give up. Uh, I appreciate your tuning in. Hopefully I'll have another video out soon. And until then, thanks for watching.